Hello and welcome back to another one of Discount Magician streams. We are here again with more control. This is part three, uh, the research division. So we need to find, um, if you find Marshall in research slash, slash parapsychology. Uh, last time I believed I did, yes, I did get spin and shatter as well as I spent a ton of my source to um, unlock some new features. Okay, so uh, not gonna be able to do much for a f hot minute. So we're gonna just head off to the elevator and go back to research. Uh, last time I got my butt proverbi proverbially handed to me um, by some uh, kinetic dudes and it was pretty brutal so i am hoping that being a little bit more geared up will help me out i can catch projectiles now but i still have to be a little bit more aggressive um just because the enemies in this area are definitely a step above what i'm used to so we're gonna just switch our weapon here so this is shatter and this is spin we haven't seen spin before but i'll give you a show of what it does it does this so it's basically like a Uzi, but it looks like a pistol. Uh, I'd say it's more like an auto pistol. Now the one thing you got to be careful of with spin is it eats ammo like a beast. Um, really handy for certain enemy types, but it can get you completely screwed over. Personally, there's a couple other mods I really love, uh, but spin got me through a chunk of the game the first time I played. Uh, yeah, that's not going to play again because we already saw it. That was the, the video of Dr. Darling. Hey, Poison. Thank you for jumping in the chat. Good to see you. I know last time you were having some issues with Xbox being a, a nuisance. Okay, we're going to grab whatever we can get. Let's just have a look at this plant complaint here. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, the janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting tired of the tango. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted, and people like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by house plants? Worth looking into, Dr. Lewis. This is what I love about this game, is you might read something that seems super mundane, but has a twisted undertone. But, um, this area is massive, and there is an, you can quite easily end up going into places you don't belong and getting completely screwed over. Um, can I play this? Oh, it's not a playable, it's what it's... Synchronicity! Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which is occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung laid the road, now we must walk it. My fledging research department will make our mission to reliably reproduce behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding to the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Refer to blank for full report. Nice. Well, I'm glad you are able to get on. All right, so we're going to have to head down, and there's going to be a bunch of the Hiss spawning uh, because they did last time, and I didn't kill them, so that means that in typical sort of roguelike fashion, whatever doesn't kill you only gets better and stronger and more aggressive and beats the living crap out of you. Like these dudes. Which you have to watch out for because they do these crazy kinetic attacks. I'm gonna chuck a garbage can at one of them. Where is he? There he is. Oh, this may not have been the right gun for this situation. I might switch back to... Uh, let's go grip. So one thing I love is you can flip your weapons on the fly. This thing just does way more damage. 
Not until I get a better upgrade. Then I like, really rely on it. Oh, come on. It's got a notification. My controller batteries are low. It's like as soon as I start playing. Sorry about that. I'm going to get disconnected for a minute here, more than likely. Boop. Alright, hopefully you guys can still hear me. If you can still hear me, just give me a nod in chat, and that would be great. That way I'm not just sitting here talking to nobody. Alright, let's go for this again. One down. Two down. Okay, so that's the floaty dudes. Awesome, thank you very much. Oh, here's the ground guys. So these are the demolition experts. These are the ones I gotta be careful of, because they will shoot rockets at you. I should be able to catch them in midair now though, if I remember my upgrades correctly. I don't remember. Oh, there's someone coming up the stairs. I see their helmet. I was reacted way too late on that one. There's another guy coming. I'm gonna throw a bench at him. Alright, uh, I got some health off of the last guy, but there's gonna be more of them coming. There's a long shot down there. You know what? The benches are really good for how much damage they do, if I can get a good line of sight. Where are these guys? He's way down there. There he is. Put the tree between us. Okay, perfect. I need another bench or something to hurl at him. Let's just grab a chunk of the stairs, why not? Where is he? There he is. Last time I got taken out by a guy with rockets that unexpectedly ambushed me. How do you do the dash again? Is it Y? No, oh, that's... B. B. Okay, I needed to know that. Where is he? Oh, wrong weapon. Okay, I need to get rid of that long shot guy. He's back there. Take your shot, dude. Long shot guy's still hiding back there. He's behind his cabinet. Okay, hopefully that flushed him out a bit. If it didn't flush him out, it made him angry. No, he's still back there. I can see him poking his head out. Reveal yourself. Come on. See, I don't want to go down and confront him because he's just going to get really in my face like this guy's trying to. He was trying to fire a rocket at me. I'm not letting that happen. Where are you, sniper? Is a nuisance. More stuff just keeps spawning in, but it's not helping me get rid of the sniper.
Okay, that was the Hiss Sniper. I think that may have been the last guy. I think I finally forced him out of his cover. Okay, yeah, the music stopped, so we're good. We did a lot better that time. I think having the upgrades did help, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright, let's check out the vault here. Sniper, no sniping. Yeah, the batteries always die as soon as you start gaming. That's 100% true. Okay, let's have a look here. A possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporeality via phone line event is notably similar to the AWE in which blank event response event is believed to have been caused by and as a result of the following measures have been taken to prevent. So basically a document that explains absolutely nothing. <sighs> What's in here? House memory. No, astral blip. Nice. Okay. The one like habit that I find myself constantly in with this game is I am always hitting X trying to reload, and it just changes my gun type. Alright, so I do believe we have a cleanse point. I'm not 100% sure. I need to find parapsychology. Dr. Darling's office, dimensional research. Ooh, what's that? Okay, so there's a lot of negative space over here. Oh yeah, these things are interesting. So basically what they are is they're like... Pockets of... Distress, and if you break them, you can sometimes get a wall to go away. There it goes. Okay, so as I was saying, there's tons of places to explore. Like, I can go all the way downstairs. The problem with going downstairs is it gets a lot more difficult, and you're not really supposed to be down there yet. Um, I will be going to all these areas eventually. This place is huge. Like I said, it goes up quite a ways. Um, you'll get to see uh, almost all of it because I am pretty much completionist with this game. I love exploring it. Um, but if you venture off the, the beaten path, you will get completely ruined. Alright, so we're going to have a cleanse point ahead. There it goes. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Okay, so... Cannot get through this. I have tried many ways. It will not allow you to. So you gotta get to the parapsychology elevator. So that's the one thing that's kind of neat is if you don't have a map in a game, well, you just sim simply follow the um, the signs. So we gotta go to parapsychology, which also goes through astral exhibition and parakinesiology. So we're gonna be crossing through a few different domains. Oh, right, she can't fly. <laughs> All right, and one more time. All right, we've got some baddies up ahead. And we are locked in the room with them now. All right, so first off, there is a sniper, which does not make me happy. So we're going to pull this out and chuck that at him. Oh, we got someone upstairs with us. Okay, fortunately he was pretty easy to dispatch. Where are they? Fire extinguishers, or hydrants, yeah, fire extinguishers work really well against most enemy types. because they have to It's these snipers that I don't want to deal with, because they hurt. Where is he? He's way back there. I'm going to try and get them to come to me. Actually, I want that right there if I can get it. Nope. It wouldn't let me grab it. Catch! Need another fire extinguisher. Okay. 
I stay back, they're going to try... If I go forward, they're going to try and come up. If I stay back here, they're going to try and flank. There he is. I need that sniper gone. Fortunately, the snipers don't have a lot of health. Oh, he's coming up. Come on. There we go. There he is. Yeah, fortunately, the snipers don't have a ton of health, so if you're careful, you can ambush them fairly easily. still a guy alive. He's hiding down there. I'm just gonna throw stairs at him. Oh, there's a guy right in my face. Oh, there's a bunch of people down here. Ow, that was a rocket. And that was a grenade. You guys can eat that. Oh man, that was close. I almost ate it there. Holy moly. Dude got a rocket off on me unexpectedly, and that's that wasn't ideal. There's a person in there. I think he's a hiss. He's all screwed up looking. Everything in that room is floating. That room just has a blood splatter on the floor. That's concerning. Oh, there's another guy in this room. Okay, so emergency cell supplement. Transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. Dispatcher 911, what is your emergency? Hello? Hello? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm, um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Oh, away. Okay, and can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Note, dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Okay, I'm gonna check out these rooms up here now that I can, and I have the time to. Weird crash test dummy kind of things, and a bunch of yellow balls. Cleaning cart and a very indiscriminate, indiscriminate, indescript table. Okay, I don't think this is a control point. I do feel like there's something in this room with me though, which is an unsettling thought. Oh, there's my control point. does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Okay, so we have a control point. Um, can we grab any more board countermeasures? Demolition experts. Nice. We can collect our reward for that. Oh, what happened to that? Did I just dismiss it? What happened?
I don't know what just happened. I think I, like, dismissed it or something. Can I get it back? That was annoying. Alright, um... Kill enemies in maintenance sector, charge maneuvers, spin maneuvers. Um, kill hiss guards using spin. Ah, oh, that's crummy. I th ah. I wanted to collect it, not get rid of it. Oh well. It's not the end of the world, just annoying. Okay, so... Can't get any more weapon forms. I could upgrade my construct level. I should really also have a look at what my mods are, because I haven't checked my mods since I've been collecting stuff. Loadout. So my damage boost is at 15%. Do I have anything higher than that? 20%. Okay, that's easy on grip. Shatter. Can we go for something better on shatter? Recoil minus five. Minus seven percent recoil spread. Minus ten percent projectile spread. Damage against enemy armor, thirty-two percent. Yeah, let's swap that. Okay, it's gonna switch my weapon form for a second here. Switch that to spin. And so that's rate of fire 17%. Accuracy 13. I'm looking for, there we go, headshot damage on spin. That'll help us out immensely. Okay, now I want to get rid of spin and switch it back to shatter. And then last thing I want to do is just change my personal mod. Uh, health recovery per pickup, 24. Do we have anything better than that? Health plus 15. Like, I can increase my overall health, but I'd rather get better pickups because that's more beneficial in the field, I find. All right, we're gonna leave it as it is for now, and we're gonna just continue on. We can always switch stuff up if we find a need to. Okay. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow custom to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before dry diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the... we decided to repurpose the space, similar to how zoos hope... familiar... Similar how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals. We hope to observe the behavior and in, a, in, an environmental sim, in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Addendum, new naming conventions have been applied to the astral entity, now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. 
we don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. All righty. I remember this part. Oh, I hate this part so much. Alright, get ready for me more than likely to die repeatedly. I can't remember how you're supposed to do this. I hate you, I hate you. Oh god. Nope. Ah, oh, I don't remember how you're supposed to do this. That's why the door didn't go down. Okay. Come on. I'm probably gonna die doing this. Holy crap. I got it. What was the Bureau doing with that Holy thing? hell. Give me a moment. That part is really intense. Whew. Yeah, so you can't close the doors until everything's secured. Both batteries are in place. And yeah, if you get near that thing, it just literally reams you. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here! Okay. Fortunately, that thing's now contained, and I never have to deal with it again. 
Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Now, I do really need health. Because if I die, it's going to force me to redo that again. Just remember to breathe. Easy for you to say. You didn't just fight that thing. Oh, and now you get to meet the Hiss Cluster. Hate these things too. Ow. Expected that to happen. I need someone to come upstairs so I can just pick them off. There's someone over there. I don't want to die. Guy across the way is the one who launched the rocket at me, and he's a healer. So, come on. <sighs> so annoying. Actually, the creature should be contained. Yeah, it's okay. So it stays contained. Good. I don't want to do that again. Um, door is right here. You can actually open that door and let it out again, and it just... it's just a bad idea. I did that accidentally once. Okay. Gonna be way more vigilant this time. I'm gonna try and hit that his cluster harder. Okay, that did a chunk of damage. Now this guy's got his eyes on me. to fire a grenade at me so I can catch it. Chuck it back at him. That's what I wanted. But he's being healed by the cluster, and that's a grenade. So if I catch a grenade, I can chuck it at the cluster. That'll help. Ah, uh, and that sometimes happens too. Ah. Uh. Hey, I never said this game was easy. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the shield ability yet either. Can I get in that little room there? Maybe. I need that cluster gone because it's healing these guys. 
Okay, cluster's dead. So you can see that now they're not being healed, they're not as confident. They all kind of fall back and start playing differently. Eat television screen. That was close. Alright, another guy just warped in. I got a few minutes before he's gonna start taking shots at me. Okay, not sure if any of these guys have rockets. No. Oh. There's one. need a, something to hurl at these guys, because they are getting too clumped up. Thank you. Thank you. Someone downstairs, and I think this guy's a rocketeer. Yeah, he is. Ow. Oh, he was right at the bottom of the stairs. Last time I played this, I rushed them on that second floor, and it actually kind of worked out because it made it harder for them to keep getting me with ranged attacks. I might try that again. I gotta get rid of that cluster though. That cluster is like the biggest problem. I wish there was more explosive stuff in this room to chuck at it. that guy to start shooting rockets. There we go. Where's that cluster gone? There we go. Cluster's gone. Now I can deal with him. Once he shows himself again. Okay. I have a few minutes before I, they start spawning in again. I can get a bit aggressive and start chucking stuff at these guys. Oh, nice. I'm out of... Uh, I'm out of kinesis. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna rush him. Stool for ya. I hear you. Oh, he's right behind me. One more guy, I think. Hucking stuff is definitely the answer. Oh, shoot! There's 
there's still people in here. Okay, they're not down there. They're up there. I need a bench. I see him. Oh, it's a grenader. No, thank you. If I can keep him up there, keep him kited, I can... Perfect. Come on, do it again. I forgot how much grenaders suck. Worth it though. That's another control point. We made a nice mess of this place. Alright, let's unlock the control point here. Thank you. Shazam. If anyone is missing, we've encountered heavy resistance. We've fallen back to the left department. All agents are ordered to convert here. All right. Let's grab whatever we can get out of here first. Utilization of Paranatural Elements Rethinking Groupthink. The study extends the works of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong casual links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out various variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. See experiments blank for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further F empirical findings suggest that measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors engaging in. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provides new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of and Yeah, the, the uh, demolition rendering in this game is next level. There's so many times where you'll walk away from an area and it just looks like, like a war has happened in it, and that's like one of my favorite parts of it. Okay, so, uh, a captive audience. We just got a thing to investigate the X-ray light box object of power in Research Hypnosis Lab. So anytime you get these... Um, side objectives, they're usually pretty worthwhile. Also, I do love the the uh, brain diagram that gets all toppled during the fight. Um, I need to find... Hypnosis Lab is... downstairs. Wait, what? I'm not I'm not understanding which way is the hypnosis lab. Is it this way? I need my map. Oh right, uh Is it up? Up. Hypnosis. Whoops. Okay. 
I have no idea where the hypnosis lab is, but we did find the elevators. They're right there. Okay, we went through Astral Exhibition. Do the elevators take me to Hypnosis? No, the elevators go to Luck and Probability and Parapsychology. Okay, so like Astral Exhibition is that way. Maybe Hypnosis is... Oh, there is a door down there. Okay. Not at all creepy. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. The door is locked. Launch efficiency. Nice. Portable cat scan unit, by the looks of it. Okay, so... Looks like a code of some kind. In typical video game fashion, is it like posted on a wall somewhere? That's like glued shut. That's awesome. Oh, right there. I need to make it look like a box with a lid. So. Is that it? It looks like it. I got a unlock symbol. Like, are any of these? I don't remember Please if any state of these. Your name for the record, Paul Warren, astronaut, first class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Okay, is this thing gonna kill me? Use C's to complete Astral Plane Challenge. Oh, I forgot about this ability. <laughs> I love the description. Golden copy NPC variation. It literally breaks the fourth wall within its own description.
Yeah, this is like one of my favorite abilities to use in the game. Go on, kill the gold guy. I think they killed him. Oh no, gold guy's down there. Ow. Kill the gold guy. Alright, I need the blips. Okay, they killed the gold guy, so that's perfect. Alright, so Seize is gonna give us a advantage. And I believe, yeah, all those dudes have just dropped dead, which is really reassuring. Their brains were fried when I took over the object. I don't know why, I always expect this door to like bust open and then there'd be like a pile of enemies coming at me. Okay, so we gotta make ourselves back to the research parapsychology elevator. I love too that the oldest house like cleans itself up after you leave. See the brains all realigned, all the garbage is cleaned up, the computer is no longer swaying. All right, we're gonna definitely do a quick save here because that was pretty substantial, and we got oh yeah, we got some points for doing that. Um, launch enemies when their health is low. That'd be handy. Launch damage. I think I'm gonna go for more health. Mm, yes. Okay. Got an additional personal mod slot, so that's going to help us out. So, definitely want to go for probably launch efficiency so I can chuck more stuff and not run out of energy as fast. Uh, launch efficiency cost minus nine. We can deconstruct that because it's only minus seven. Minus 10. Okay, so we can get rid of that one. Uh, two minus 10, so we can get rid of that one. Minus 7 can go. Minus 9 can go. Minus 9 can go. Okay, so definitely a minus 10 on launch efficiency is going to help us out uh, quite a bit. Nice. Okay. Kind of weird that they have pictures of the place that we're in. I don't think I've ever been anywhere that had pictures of the, the actual location you're in. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden, hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need a talk. You got that right. Okay, well, I got a bodyguard for a few minutes here before he just explodes. And 
Ploof. Took a little bit of damage on that, but not as much as I expected to, so that's good. Oh, that is a weird elevator. Marshall is waiting for you in the luck lab, just down the hall. Oh look, I found a bathroom. And a camera. Bathrooms always have things hidden in them. It's just the rule of video games. Where's the other one? Oh, it's right here. Oh, I wanted to read the document. His cluster... Oh, we didn't read the cluster uh, debrief, did we? Work for me, then die. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, his clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his host with the infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted host underlies a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual, or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Oops. Uh, Hiss Sniper. Bureau snipers specialize in eliminating threats from a distance using the telltale searchlights affixed to their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no less lethal. The corruption has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from their target, waiting in elevated positions for a clear shot. Care should be taken when in open spaces. Check the balconies. I should note that their rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat, and the his snipers are well aware of how to use it. Alrighty. Uh, astronaut program. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore the, and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X ray light box. Uh, see case file OOP18 for details. In the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has con conclusively proven that with astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often, recurring, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Welcome to the party, ma'am. Marshall is right down the hall. Nice to see some friendly faces. Ah, cleanse point. Perfect. There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Phaeton. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. 
My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. I love whenever she says... Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. I love when characters say we'll talk more after. Sometimes you can talk to them again right away. What's the situation? Squad C hasn't made it back. They're still out there, which means we should assume they're KIA, ma'am. Only exit is back through parakinesiology, but then there's no way we're making it to the lab. Only option is to hold here and wait for an opening. Then we put everything we got into one final push. We wouldn't last a minute out there. You saw what those things could do. We need to retreat. If we stay here, we're dead. Marshall said we need more HRAs. If you want to go sit in a corner and suck your fucking thumb, don't let me stop you. But no one will be calling you a ranger afterwards. The fight's not in here, rangers. Let's look for alternatives. Okay, a clacker typing, tapping at a horseshoe. That's strange. So, like, yeah, because you're supposed to hang a horseshoe that way because it holds the lock in. What is this? It's a plant. Oh, it's a four leaf clover. There's a gold fish over here. There's like a lucky cat. Is that room? There's definitely something in there. Okay. I think I gotta come back here because this is definitely. I think I know the reason. Okay, they're definitely not gonna let me back in there. There's like a war going on down here. I think I got some guys on my own side. I'm gonna check out the shelter quickly. Oh, there it is, perfect. Okay, anyone still alive down here? I see rangers over there. We have to help them. There's a cluster back there. So you can kill them. If this thing's still alive. This makes it a lot harder. Okay, it's dead. Now I can lay some siege down on these guys.
Okay, so I think those guys are on my side back there. Yeah, they are. Oh, I didn't want to kill him. I wanted to take control of him. Oh, shoot. You're mine now, bomb person. Perfect. Nice. Next wave. Is there someone else in here? Hello? Wow, I tore apart that control point pretty easily. <laughs> Annoying title screen. Oh, that's not good. Chief Lewis. Oh, shoot. Um, where am I? I want this thing. Where'd he go? Stop doing whatever that is. Oh, I saw that. Come on. Get up here. Drop your vortex. Get a rock. I got a fire hydrant. Dang it, just missed. I think I'm out of explosive things to chuck at this guy. Oh, he's got a backup now. Oh, I wanted to take control of that guy. really hurt. I'm gonna need to get as much health as I can really quickly. Okay. Now. He's almost dead. I just caught a bench to the face. Come on, drop it. Stragglers left. Okay. 
Holy moly. So Lewis is dead. As are all of his henchmen. Dang, that, that bench to the face, that hurt. I was like, I couldn't believe I survived that. Okay, now we can cleanse the control point. Unless anything else has something they want to say about it. Boom shakalaka. Blip, sweet. Was there a document in here at all? No. Yes. Alright. The Threshold Kids. With the recent arrival of the, there are certain glaring gaps in the Bureau's ability to educate and raise uh, young. There are no other for to play with and is accepted, expected to learn about frightening new concepts. Solution. Blank will require a slow, friendly introduction to the paranatural topics. With this in mind, uh, allow me to introduce The Threshold Kids, a television show in which a cast of cheerful puppets explains the dangers of living at the Bureau, but also show the fun side of the paranatural. Budget would be minimal. I took a few puppet-making courses at my local community center. We have research staff behind uh, building the sets, uh, recording the footage, and even do the voices. It will be good for morale, and I guarantee Blank will respond positively to these videos. We can't expect A to enjoy lectures and people in lab coats, but as television has proven for years, Blank love puppets. Alrighty. I think we've already seen like one or two episodes of the uh, Threshold Kids. Uh, ritual Office. I don't think I need to go this way yet. I don't think it would hurt to go this way. Hmm. Why not? Let's go explore. Thank you for your for the file. It was very helpful. I've re-archived it with the Black Rock research in case you need to refer to them again. Yes, the video shoots are always interesting. I expect my availability for those to decrease in the future. However, my analysis of this newly discovered Black Rock variant is reaching a critical point. I hope you'll be able to attend them still. Darling seems to be under a lot of pressure lately, and I'm sure he would appreciate any support you can provide. Regarding the analysis you provided, I do not have any questions. Thank you for your expeditious delivery. Regards, Research Specialist Dr. Carla Vaughn, uh, Federal Bureau of Control. Nice. I don't know if this is anywhere different. Where am I? Uh, examination of paranatural topics, tangible effect of rituals, obsessive compulsive disorder, hoarding, anxiety disorders. While certain manifestations of these conditions are simply the result of mental illness, sometimes the individuals are simply performing something rituals. The of rituals can vary numerology, dream logic, forfeiture, verbal formulae. Repetitive action and casual tethering are just some of the procedures involved. Some rituals are consistent, such as pulling the light switch cord three times to enter the motel, but some are erratic. While most people engage in minor rituals every day, the vast majority do not understand the importance behind their actions. Avoiding disaster, amassing luck, or simply locating lost keys are all the results of daily rituals. Individuals who recognize a deeper meaning behind these compulsive actions are inherently aware of the paranatural world and, when located, should be considered for employment at the Bureau. 
Oh, that's where we just had that giant firefight. Okay. I love the gardens, like, inside the uh, support pillars there. That's kind of cool. This goes nowhere other than to that elevator. Interesting. That's a pretty sweet office. Only thing is, if the elevator goes down, you're stuck upstairs with no bathroom. That's like my my first thought. That just goes to show how my brain works. All right, we need to make it to research and protective studies now. Protective studies is this way. This looks like a control point, but it's not. That's interesting. Oh wow, I love the rendering on that hallway. That's gorgeous. There's a rubber duck in there. Altered item number 52 AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Hmm. There's nothing in this room. Or this room. Or this room. Okay. We got an intrusive pattern, so that's something. Um, anything else hidden upstairs here? Documents? What not? No. Okay. Let's go into the really well decorated hallway, but this it looks like something like. Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead or taken over by the hiss. Do those mannequins change the way they're facing, or am I being crazy? Um... I don't know. I, there, there is something about the scientific method, about the order in which people conduct tests, but I don't know if it follows that set of rules. <laughs> I'm getting freaked out by these mannequins. Oh, there is a door jammed back there. And there's a computer terminal here. Oh, I didn't... Oh, okay, I guess that's one way of doing it.
Okay, so that takes me to Darling's lab. I want to go and see what's behind this door. It's perplexing that it's blocked off, though. Whoops. I didn't want to yeet it. I want to... How do you drop it? X. Okay. Oh. Did I just hear a quack? Oh, there's something in here. I swear I heard something say wah wah. But I might be crazy. Oh, there's a doorway up there. Why does that hallway make me so uncomfortable? Yeah, it's no worries there, Poison. I'm probably gonna play for like another half hour or so. Just go to a solid two hours as usual. You led me here. Any idea how to make it work? Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Okay, so basically these are... that looks like the sequence. So, we need to find all the punch cards. Oh, I'm terrible with sequence puzzles. Especially ones that use like that weird like logic system where it's like, well, it's not this or this or this, so it must be this. I'm t yeah, my brain doesn't work that way. Well, the universal constant is that that one at the front there is always there. Postcard here, punch card here. Okay, so this is machine number four. Now, does that mean that that one, what's it say above it? Can we affect this? Does that mean that this one up here is four? See, over here, four is crossed out. But over here, it's moved to another position. Each punch card should correspond to a terminal. Yeah, I get that. I'm just trying to make sense of it. If you just stop talking, I can think. Okay, so this... This must be one. that matches this. That weird thing there must be five, which, where is five? Five is right here. So this thing should be five. These whiteboard drawings may be important. Those two need to be switched, so two should be a square and three should be a diamond? What is this? This is... what number are you? Three. So, three should be a diamond. Uh, one, two, th 
or am I missing? I'm missing two. So two should be a square. It looks that like means... he was working on something to do with these symbols. Stop. Let me figure it out. You don't need to comment every 30 seconds. Yeah, so this looks right. This this is machine four? Yeah. That might be right. It feels right. This isn't gonna go all half-life on me, is it? Oh, there's something back here. Black rock prisms are unique formations of black rock, distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, the unique structure of prisms retain frequencies in the range of something to something hertz with perfect harmonization. This report analyzes the results of focusing a through a harmonized prism to a methods of the imprinting of non-physical fields onto imbuing them with properties of the harmonized resonance. In the prism will be explored and explained. Refer to for full report. Yeah, I will definitely post this to YouTube as soon as I'm done streaming for you there, Poison. Thank you for watching. Prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Fate. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. Emily Pope Ooh. has set up a base in Executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. That's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Here, this will lead back to central research. I love the design of the worlds in this game. They're just so unique, but believable. Oh, I still can't talk to her yet. Okay. Um...
Oh, nice. We're back here again. And that takes me to Central Executive's elevator. Uh, I need to get to Black Rock Processing through maintenance, so I think I'm gonna head back to Central... Um, what is it called? Central... Executive sen Sector, that's it. And you know what I might do is I might just do my upgrades and then call it because the like I just don't want to jump into a whole nother okay. section right away. Hope wants us to compile all of Darling's data entries for the past month. She wants Okay, so we definitely got four more points for abilities. I could throw more points into my health, but I think it would be better spent on something else. Um, we did get some new ones activated over here. More seize duration. Hmm. Do I really want to go down the path of seize? I kind of do. More launch damage wouldn't hurt either, though. How many points does this cost? That's one, and that's that's two. You know we're gonna go. We're gonna do that. We're gonna take one point in this, and we're gonna take another point in this. That requires two. I don't really want to go with any melee. I don't really use melee. Just to crack Darling's personal logs. Uh, astral constructs. I can't build any new weapon forms. I could upgrade my mods again if I wanted to, but I find that you get mods pretty freely just from drops. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what kind of health boost we can get. 27, energy plus 7, What's my launch efficiency at 10? Ooh, 12. Let's swap that. Okay, we can get rid of the other one then. That's gone. Energy evade cost. Any of these that I'm not going to use ever. Seize speed. Oh, that's a pretty good one too. Hmm. No, I, I like what I've picked so far. Uh, let's just see if we have any upgrades for... Oh yeah, we got lots of gun upgrades. Okay, so let's have a look-see here. Oh, that's, um, that's a rare one, so we'll definitely switch that onto Shatter. Perfect. Accuracy on the spin may not be a bad idea, but I, I feel like headshots is the way to go with this gun. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave it on the headshot for spin. Um, what is that? That's exclusive shatter spin and grip. That is ammo cost per shot. Now we'll leave that alone. Ooh, damage 15%. What are we up to on this? 20. Okay, so we can break that one down. Okay, you know what? We'll leave that alone for now. Feeling pretty good with the way that my character build is going. She must think he's hiding something. And I... I wonder if I should upgrade this. Hmm. Oh yeah, 
board countermeasures. We screwed up our last one. Pierce, um, spin. Kill guards in the executive sector using spin. Okay, we'll take that one there. We still have no outfits. Okay, so yeah, I think this is a good place to stop for now. Um, just because I know the next section is pretty lengthy, I could go and get another control point in it, but I kind of just like each chapter being like a location because then that way it's a little bit easier for people to follow if they're watching on YouTube. They're not going to get like a slice of one and slice of another. Um, so um, with that said, I want to say thank you to everybody who joined in and watched. I much appreciate your patronage and uh, to the viewer who's uh, shadow watching. Thank you. Hopefully I'll see you again. Feel free to drop me a follow. That greatly appreciated. Uh, if not, I do post these all to YouTube under the exact same uh, Twitch handle. And to those watching on YouTube, thank you for watching on YouTube. And if you like it, please leave me a comment or a like. Again, I do this for fun. I don't do this for money. Uh, this is just my hobby. Anyways, as always, stay healthy, stay safe, and peace, love, and extras. This is Discount Magician signing off.